some of the primary factors that can lead to TMD. Um, the first one being occlusion, so how your teeth contact each other. If your teeth are contacting too much in the front, but your um, or in the back, but your front teeth aren't contacting as much, those back molars can really clamp down on each other, and that turns these muscles on, and these muscles can get really overactive and tired. So in some of those cases, that's when um, referring to a dentist or getting a night splint will be appropriate because that'll help your jaw muscles relax at night. The other thing that we can do too is if we feel like we've made a lot of progress with physical therapy but there's still a missing piece of the puzzle, sometimes I will refer patients out to have occlusal adjustments where the dentist actually um, performs a bite test and sees where the contact is on the teeth and they'll even go and kind of grind down the teeth a little bit just to make sure the fit is a little bit better so the muscles can relax more. Another thing that can lead to TMD is trauma. So think about your concussions, sports injuries, if you're hit in the head with a ball, or if you went through physical abuse um, slash domestic violence and you had were struck in the face, that can lead to a lot of trauma in that area. Um, a third thing, emotional stress. A lot of people who are the clenchers um, or grinders can just be going through a lot of emotional stress outside of um, physical stress, and even that can trigger you to clench more at night. So, um, referring out to a psychologist or psychiatrist is, if needed can be appropriate. And then the last one is parafunction. So parafunction meaning any activity that's not normally intended for that part of the body. So for the jaw muscles specifically, if you're chewing on ice a lot, biting on your nails, using um, your hand to rest your head and putting a lot of stress through that joint, um, things like the biting on pens and stuff, all of that can lead to increased stress on that area.